AI is becoming world's fastest software engineer, but for production ready code, this might not be the right statement. The problem is speed. Speed without structure is always slob and we have heard a lot about AI slob in the past. There are so many platforms for vibe coding, but what exactly is that engineers need or what exactly is that production ready companies or software need is orchestration. And today we are going to discuss about how can you orchestrate using a platform known as Zenflow. I recently came across it and it was very, very useful when it comes to software orchestration or workflow orchestration. Majorly three things. One is workflow orchestration, helping you do multiple tasks and revisit those tasks from time to time. Second is spec driven development, whereas you give a specific PRD document and it develops code or software based upon that entire spec with the number of steps. And third is multi agent verification. For example, Codex gives you some X output, whereas Claude would give a better output. How can you compare the results of Codex and Claude at the same time so that you get the best output. And if there's a mistake that's done by one LLM model, it's rectified by another one. So this is what Zenflow does in one same UI. So let's go to the platform and test it. What all different features it has and how can you use it well? For example, we are here on the screen. This is Zenflow. It comes as a separate software or you can integrate in your VS code as well. There are four major things that you can see on the screen currently. One is quick change. One is fixing a bug. One is spec and build and one is full SSD workflow. You can run parallel tasks within. For example, I am just creating a small application where I'll give a PRD documents, product requirement document, wherein we will have each and everything written. What exactly do I want? What tech stack should be used? What uh, the features should look like and how we'll be able to do it. So there are four things. We can do a quick change also. Like if at all my repository is connected, I have something on GitHub. We need to connect our GitHub uh, to this. So if, if my GitHub is connected and if there's a quick change, right? I need to click on start and I can write about that task here. For example, I want, would want to uh, make my login authentication a bit more better or I would want to add Microsoft Outlook as a login parameter. So I can do that. I can write that there's a quick change that's possible. Second is fixing a bug. For example, I feel that there's a specific button that's not clickable. What is wrong? Is there some endpoint that is wrong? Is there something some access is not given? So I can write it down at least it will be able to do that on its own. Third is spec and build so you can uh, figure out if, if there's a specific set of uh, uh, instructions that you can give it to the code and it will be able to change that on the way. And one is full SSD workflow. For example, we're doing full SSD workflow. I will be giving this uh, PRD document wherein I'll say hotel finder app is what I want to build. This is the task, task details. For example, uh, this is a PRD for Hotel Finder app wherein user signs up, logins and browse hotels near the location using external APIs. This is the auth flow that I want. This is the hotel search flow, user grants location permission, system fetches hotels via APIs, user sees hotel list and user clicks hotels for details. Then there's tech stack for front end, for back end, for auth, for hotel APIs. Uh, then I've given API endpoints. Uh, databases that I plan to use, uh, validation rules, out of scope. So this is how the task would look like and I've given this uh, information. Now I have uh, some more options. For example, execution settings, if I'll go, I can select which agent I want to work with. As I've already told, right, there's multi-agent authentication or multi-agent review we can take. So you can pick whatever you want. For example, you want Claude code, you can pick Claude code codex, you can do Codex Gemini, you can do Gemini or you can do Zen coder itself. So you can do, you can create multiple tasks. So this is how multi agents uh, would work. For example, if I want to do uh, get task done by agent one, so I can pick Zen coder here. I can pick, pick Claude here, but let's just do it for once and I'll, I'll just create and run and see what happens. Yeah. So it's trying to implement the step uh, requirements in a plan. So there are four steps. One is requirements. Second is technical specification. Third is planning and fourth is implementation. So the first process is in progress wherein it is helping you with the helping us with the requirement step. Uh, it's exploring the existing code base to understand the current architecture. Currently, we don't have anything. We are building it from the scratch. So it's a fresh project. So it's checking the directory if there's any file or folder or it needs to create that file or folder. So it's the first command that it has done. So you can see exactly what it is doing and at any point of time, you can give a command, you can change and you can see things happening. The best part is you can start a new task parallelly with this task happening. So you can just, if at all there's some bug that comes in between, I can just pick up a new task and this keeps on running parallelly. So multi tasks we can do at the same point of time. 
Now this is how that orchestration works. Let's see how this looks like. So it has created uh, two files. One is plan.md. Uh, it has given uh, commits. So the first is initialize task. That is first commit is hotel finder app. So it is generating uh, the requirements. Let's see what it gives us. So it, so it is telling me the, there was some error generated. It will auto resolve that error. And now the requirements step is completed. It has created a comprehensive PRD at this particular requirements.md with detailed specifications for authentication, hotel service, API endpoints and more. Right. So this is the commit that we have. So this is the requirements.md file that it has made. So what exactly are we going to do in this? It's written here. Right. Now this step is done, requirement step is done. Next is technical specification. So let's start the technical specifications part. Uh, if at all there's some change that I want to make, I can do that. But let's start with the technical specification part. So the user is asking to work on technical specification step for this hotel finder app. Also you can check and if there's some new config that you want to add, you can add that new config here. That's also uh, the thing that's there. If you want to start a new chat, you can start the new chat by clicking here. If you want to start a new terminal altogether, you can click on this and you can start a new terminal. Uh, here also, you, like this is the view that you can change if you want to change the view. These are settings, these are the feedback, archive and my account. Now I can see there's something that it has told it has failed to commit changes after execution. I can review it with another agent. So let's see if I'm reviewing it with another agent, uh, what it says. So it's reviewing the recent changes. So it has given the uh, summary of what the other agent has reviewed. It tells us the technical specification is well structured and detailed with good security consideration and incremental delivery phases. However, it needs to address the missing manual location input requirement correct the premature success criteria check marks and explicitly document assumptions made where the PRD requested clarification. With these changes, the spec will be ready for planning phase. Recommendation, address critical issues before one to four steps, marking the steps complete and moving forward. So I think uh, this is something that uh, we need to add. I'll just click on this copy and I'll uh, write it here. This is uh, all the check marks have been done and we can review it with another agent but we already reviewed. We'll move on to the next step that's planning. I'll click on start the planning step. So once it plans, we'll see what uh, is the next output that is given. So it's now creating a comprehensive implementation plan on the seven phases from the spec that we've already given it. Let's see what it uh, means. Now the third thing that is the planning phase is complete. It has uh, seven different phases project setup infrastructure authentication authentication backend frontend hotel search backend hotel search frontend hotel details polish and production steps so all these separate steps we can start uh, performing based upon how the plan has been given so we'll click on start we'll start doing all these steps in uh, a phased manner and we'll have we'll see commits so it has given now it has fi five commits one is hotel finder app so this is the spec commit this is the plan commit. This is uh, the technical specification. They've added something for planning. It's loading the diff. So we'll click on, we'll click on um, the next step. Click on start project setup and infrastructure. You know, the best part is you can do a parallel task. For example, login auth security. I want to improve the login security in the app. So I'll just click given a very simple prompt, but you can click on create. So there's a parallel task that starts running, right? So there's a login auth security that starts running I can click on start. So this is there are two tasks running in parallel now. So this is the task that's that what we have been doing. There's one more task that's running in parallel. So you can do it uh, on a separate terminal also. There's a new terminal you want. You can do it on a new terminal as well. But uh, let's uh, come here and see what it gives us. So I'll come back to you after all these steps are done and let's see what we get. So now, so now all these tasks have been done and there's some action required based upon if we, if I want to give some input and it will perform some other task and I can see all these commits that have been there. For example, authentication uh, front end, I can see the code here. I can also see the code in my GitHub profile. So this is how uh, this looks like. You can see hotel details, all these files are there. The SQL files, uh, hotel grid, hotel details, hotel card, error message, polish and production prep, planning, technical specification, hotel finder requirement and 
a lot more. So everything has been done and this is how Zenflow works. Basically helping me orchestrate what I have been working upon and making that production ready code, production ready software. If at all there's some changes required, you can uh, choose uh, to try it out with another agent and uh, mix and match and see if this is something that's required. So that was it for this demo. Do check out, I'll give the link in the description. Make sure you create a profile and you start using it today. That was it for this particular video. I'll link Zenflow in the description below. Make sure you do check it out. This is going to be very, very helpful if you are somebody who's looking forward to software orchestration or looking forward to build production ready code. Let me know in the comments below what other video do you want and if any other tool you have used for workflow orchestration, then I would be more than happy to make a video on that. Let me know in the comments below. That was it for this particular video. Thank you so much. All the best. Good luck and bye.